What's up, you guys? It's your girl, the real Mrs. J. And I'm still in the bed, so um, it's, what, 9-something here? Eastern Standard Time is 9.25 in the morning. Eastern Standard Time, and, um, yeah, I'm still in the bed. It's uh, the Sabbath. It's a day of rest. So I definitely take it seriously. I'm going to get all the rest I can get. I'll probably go out a little later, um, take my daughter for because she just um, learned how to drive. So I'm going to take her out driving. But y'all, let, let me tell y'all this real quick before I even get into why the real reason why I'm coming to y'all right now. I don't even know if I want to go outside because um, I I live in the county, but the part of the county that I live in is almost close to the city and you know it's from um it's not too far from an area where I'm actually from originally and so right now it's a flat out war going on like a flat out war going on somebody has been getting killed here every single day I mean like this is not at night this is Broad daylight, four o'clock in the afternoon, like one of my friends that I grew up with, um, got shot and killed yesterday at like three o'clock in the afternoon. And it's crazy because he don't be bothering nobody. It's these little young dudes, these little young ninjas, I'm telling you, they are like, they don't know how to fight. They don't know how to, they don't, they just want to shoot somebody like this mess is crazy. They found somebody in the dead in the um drive through at McDonald's, like on the ground, not in a car. Um, and the, these ones, you know, have been really, really young. Like they're in their early twenties, um, twenty two, twenty one, and then a little a boy that was in the seventh grade was um shot and and killed last night. Like this mess is crazy around here, so it just make me not even want to go outside. But that's okay, because when I do go out, y'all know the real Mrs. J. I done told y'all, I done came to y'all live from that from the GUN store. Like, I'm not playing with these little young ninjas. I'm not playing with them. So when I do go outside, y'all know I'm going to have my peace be still with me, because this mess don't make no type of sense. And it's not even hot yet. It's not even spring. It's not even spring break yet. And these ninjas is like laying each other down. So it leads me to believe that there is something going on, some retaliation. And I'm definitely sure there was some retaliation from what happened yesterday to my friend. Because, hold on, there was, it was like four people yesterday. And all in that area where I'm from, it's, it's just nuts, y'all. It's just nuts. But anyway, it made me want to move my kids even further from out of here. And just sell his daggone house and just go buy another one. Like, this mess is just crazy. But anyway, you guys. Um, So, yeah, I think that Jay Wilson is trolling. And when I say, why I say I think he's trolling with this septum pearson is because um back in january my daughter turned 16 years old and so we had already made this this um this deal that when she turned 16 and i think we we made this deal like when she was 14 we made this deal that when she turned 16 that we would go and get our noses pierced and we would do it together so I'm sure y'all notice in my pictures that my nose is pierced. I just got that piercing back in January. She so I got the nose piercing, you know, like the regular nose piercing. She got the septum um piercing. And that nose ring that Jay Wilson has in is not a starter nose ring. A not a starter septum piercing nose ring. So I really think that Jay Wilson is trolling right now. He's trolling, y'all. You can easily buy, like, the little clip-on jewelry or whatever to go on your nose. Because my daughter used to do it before she, um, before we even, uh, when it got our noses pierced for real, for real. So I really think he's trolling, y'all, on that note.
So I wouldn't be taking all that too seriously until let's, let's just wait. Cause, um, if he continues to have it, if he switches that thing out soon, then y'all already know that it's fake. Okay. But I really think Jay Wilson is trolling. But anyway, and y'all baby yesterday, it, I don't know what it is. It's a spirit on the beef sector. <laughs> because Nika and James was going in on each other. Like, they was going in on each other. And I just really think that it was inevitable to happen. And I'm not even going to say, like, you know, from when, when VS, you know, the stuff came out about them talking about James or whatever. But, um, yeah, they always was like fake friends to me. I never really took their friendship, so-called, serious. Because it just always seemed ingenuine, disingenuous. It just did not seem genuine at all. Um, Just from, like, the conversations and, you know, little things that James would say. Um, I think James went a little too far when he started talking about her lupus and stuff like that. Like, you know, I, I think he went a little too far with that, but... I'm just starting to notice some stuff about James that I really never noticed in the past. And um, and that is James is nasty. And I think that a lot of people don't speak up about it because they're scared of being cleaned up. <laughs> they're scared of, of being cleaned up. So I think a lot of people, you know, they shy away from even saying anything about James. Um but you know, I just think he just went a little too 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 gutter, too low. Um, I don't think that Nika ever got over the fact about the whole Gator Croc incident. And um and this this was going on was just, just destined to happen. It was just bound to happen um sooner or later. But um even now, like I think that you know, if he was her so-called friend or whatever, then, you know, they would have had a conversation behind the scenes or whatever about the situation. Like, they've been having conversations behind the scenes, I think. Don't quote me on that. But I do remember, like, when Nika had got her dentures or whatever. Because <laughs> I know damn well she ain't getting no implants, okay? I know those is not implants because that would be thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And I know Medicaid. <laughs> Who y'all know I'm shady. I know Medicaid ain't paying for no, no uh, implants, baby. Not at all. Them is dangerous. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so um, I remember like when she got all her teeth pulled out. You know, James knew, like, she didn't tell any of us. Remember, she wasn't even on here. Nobody even knew what was going on, but James knew. So that lets you know they was having conversations behind the scenes. So why didn't they never just have this conversation about this Gator Croc and all this stuff behind the scenes? Like, I don't understand why they didn't do that. Because um, they didn't do it because they have a fraudulent, fake fronting friendship on YouTube. Like, but like Brother Jay say, there are no friends on YouTube. There are no friends on YouTube. <laughs> None. But yeah, um, that's all I got for you guys. Y'all just tell me what your opinion is about, um, you know, the Nika and James situation. And I think that Jay Wilson is trolling. And let me just say this too. Okay, because y'all know the real Miss J is not biased, okay? When you do something that's crazy, I'm going to say something. When you do something that's okay, I'm going to say something. But let me tell y'all something. Nika read the red Kimmy down for filth, okay? She read Kimmy down. <laughs> so y'all mean to tell me that uh, Kimmy had a camera slip? She was sitting on the, on a blow-up mattress. <laughs> Kimmy girl, what is going on? You always talk about girl and moving right along. Girl, moving right along. Do you get a bedroom suit yet? Is you really sitting on an air mattress? And why do you move so much? Like the beast is professional and everything. Why are you not stable, boo-boo? Why? 
I don't understand. Does Kimmy have kids? Oh, she don't even got kids. So uh, why are you not stable? I don't I don't understand. But anyway, you guys. And then another thing too, I see Tracy still talking about Jay Wilson for somebody that's so, you know, she gotta be calling the San Antonio police. But she's still talking about Jay Wilson. Girl, you need to stop. You was just washed up and through at this point. And it leads me to believe you probably was the one that called the police on Rarack. <laughs> Because that's your M.O. You like to call the po <laughs> But anyway, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, The Real Mrs. J. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.